like the stars that shine at night, steel has witnessed the history of mankind. And now, the iron heart of steel is beating for a new tomorrow. Welcome to Gwangyang Works, the heart of the Korean steel industry. Let's take a look at how steel is produced through iron making, steel making, and continuous casting processes. The first step in making steel is the iron making process, where iron ore are melted and turned into molten iron. Iron ore and coal are imported from around the world and unloaded onto the raw materials dock. In order for proper heat transfusion to occur in the blast furnace, the iron ore and coal must be solidified from their powder form. The process of solidifying iron ore is called sintering. Meanwhile, the process of solidifying coal is called coking. The pre-treated iron ore and coal are stacked in layers into a 100 meter tall blast furnace. Then hot air at 1,200 degrees Celsius is blown into the blast furnace, causing the coal to burn. The heat melts the iron ore to create molten iron at a temperature of 1,500 degrees Celsius. The next step is the steel making process, where impurities are eliminated from the molten iron to produce crude steel. The molten iron created in the blast furnace contains various impurities that diminishes its strength and durability once it is hardened to steel. Therefore, a process of removing the impurities while the molten iron is in liquid form is necessary. The molten iron from the blast furnace is transported into a torpedo car and poured into a converter furnace. In the converter furnace, pure oxygen is added to burn off substances such as carbon, phosphorus and sulfur to create purified molten steel. At this point, the temperature and substance composition of the molten steel is precisely adjusted according to the customer's various demands. Pouring the molten steel into molds and cooling it into solid steel produces a semi-finished material called slabs, which are used to make finished steel products. The final stage of producing steel is the continuous casting process where steel is forged into various steel products. When a slab is heated above 1,100 degrees Celsius and passed between rollers, it turns into a thin and long steel sheet. This hot rolled product is used widely as construction materials and pipes in various industries. Cold rolled products, which are created by making hot rolled products thinner at room temperature, are used in general appliances, barrels, and automobile frames. Coated steel, which is created by coating cold rolled products with zinc, is used in high-end appliances, office equipment, and automobile exteriors. Steel plates, which are thick and rectangular in shape, are used in large structures such as buildings, vessels, and oil pipelines. Furthermore, the high mill plant incorporates a technology called CHEM to manufacture extremely thin hot rolled products used in containers and buildings. At the stainless steel plants, which is equipped with additional production facilities, nickel and chrome are added to steel to produce stainless steel products which are used in kitchen appliances, medical equipment, exterior walls, and roofs of buildings. Guangyang Works is a world-leading steelworks specializing in the production of automotive steel. As the largest steelworks with the most optimal layout, Guangyang Works efficiently produces high-end automotive steel and is equipped with a Taylor Welding Blanks plant for cutting, welding, and molding steel sheets according to the specifications required by the automobile manufacturers. The Automotive Steel Processing R&D Center is leading the development of automotive steel production and processing technologies. It also operates a production monitoring center that monitors the production process 24-7 and Clean Sys Center that monitors emissions of environmental pollutants in real time. ushering in a new era of steel technologies with an endless passion for steel. Guangyang Works. <laughs>